What's up everyone, G2Vex30 here, coming at you with a promised commentary. As I said yesterday in my Combat Medic Pip video, today we are playing Spirit's Domain Grok. This legendary is really high skill and takes a lot of practice to get at. So if you'd like to learn from me and learn some little tips here and there about Spirit's Domain, feel free to watch this video. I hope everyone is enjoying these commentaries on non-meta support champs right now. I plan to do a Grover video as well in the near future. And thank you to everyone for the continued support of this channel. You are all awesome and I can't thank you enough to be honest. I really don't have the right words to thank you for the support and the amount of subscribers I've been getting lately and the amount of comments, the positive feedback, the helpful feedback, the constructive criticism, everything. I thank you all for that. And to those who do enjoy this content and have not hit that subscribe button yet, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be informed when I post my newest video. I think that's all for me for now. I'll see you in the video. Alrighty, let's get in with this Grok Spirits Domain game. Okay, of course we're going Spirits Domain. I said we we're going yesterday, and of course we have to. Your Lightning Staff also heals allies. We're gonna run this build here. I know it's an all three build, but I find it to be the most efficient build for Grok Spirits Domain healing right now. So it looks weird, but it works really well. Because there's nothing really here you exactly need, and Thunderlord Electrostatic should bounce off each other, and Sean McMite is really nice for extra health. It's just super nice all together. We're gonna start with Chronos though, because we want that totem cooldown as much as we as much as we can. Even though our main healing source is from our auto attacks, that totem is super nice to have, nonetheless. Alright, where are our tanks going? Ruck is still in spawn, that's cool. We'll just keep Makoa pocketed. Even get this totem up there, there we go. Sometimes that totem is a bit finicky on the low ground, high ground. There we go, nice job. Good shots, Kanessa. Gonna rotate around here. We're just gonna play this corner, watch out for the Strix. I wanna get a totem up for this Makoa. Might have been a little bit too deep, but that's okay. Good shield from him. Pop off Ruckus. We're just gonna slowly keep moving up. We know where the Strix is now, which is good. Used our team to body block for us. Perfect. Our team's playing this really well. We just gotta keep kiting in and out, in and out, in and out this whole game. Ruckus is dead. Couldn't get a heal on him in time. Ah, uh, that was a bit of an aggressive totem. I thought Makoa wanted to stay there longer. That was a bad read on my part. Keep pocketing as much as we can. We gotta reload though. Careful, buddy. Give him the totem. Ah, uh, these... Ooh, we, oh, we had a touch. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> Go ahead and ult this. See if we can save both of our tanks. Get them aggression. Get them aggro. Nice, we got some good aggression off that, too. Hit a totem down on main. Ruckus can use it. Pop him off. And we'll talk off Makoa. Perfect. The totems in the first point were a little bit too... Uh, I don't know. They were a bit weird. I put them a bit weird. It could have been placed a lot better the first point. A lot of my attention was on Makoa rightfully, but I think there were some other things I could have done. That's fine. We'll put this totem here for ourselves. He can fall back to it as well. Play off that shield. Oh, we're dead here. I guess not. Our team's dead. We want to leave. We want to leave right now. <clears throat> this is the time when you know your team's dead and you just want to get out and save yourself so you don't stagger. That nade. Top her off. Top hip off. We're good. Maybe throwing a right click? Nope. I was hoping they'd peek that as I'd right click. Oh, top off Makoa. I told him should be good. They won't pay too much attention to it. Nice. We kept him alive through that Lex ult. Come here, buddy. I hear Strix to my right for some reason. I feel like he's flanking. Where did I hear him at? I heard him back there. Oh no, can we say Pip? Nope. Yep, there he is. Yep, uh, I kind of saw that coming. I can take two shots at full health from Strix. Get caught off of us. I think I'm trying to save my ult for the uh, point fight. I'm not trying to use it here to top both the tanks off. Hopefully Ruckus can get back. I guess not. So Lex is in our back line. This is a hard spot. I think we want to push up and help Makoa. 
if anything. And try to get this Lex off me. Hopefully the team can help. Gotta get down this totem. Oh, I can't really help Makoa at the moment. Yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. I didn't get as much help as I'd want. We uh we need to dispense this Lex, because he's uh he's causing a lot of issues, and he shouldn't be causing this many issues to be honest. Alright, so Makoa needs to, I, I need I'm gonna have to alt here. Almost for certain. Oh no, Lex is here. Oh that sucks. Let's see if we can get oh I thought I got my totem out first. That's unfortunate. The biggest, the biggest problem we have here is we can't deal with that Lex, and Lex, without any like real contention, is an issue, because we're not contesting him very well, like at all. Plus, we don't have any caught. We need more caught. We needed a lot more caught in this comp. Oh, maybe I'm not hitting enemies enough, so I'm just gonna go Chronos too anyway. Yeah, that the pip should have went caught, to be honest. Flank right. I'll attack right flank. Five, four, hmm. three, two, one. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can bring this one back. We uh, we're gonna have to get our caught threes online to really help. If we can't get the cots online, then this is gonna be a super hard game, to be honest. Oh, Knessa. Nice. That was a super good pick. That's what we want there. Marcus, run. Oh, I gave him the totem to run with. There you go, now he uses it. Now, I don't have any self-sustain besides my totem, so I don't have anything to help me with. That's unfortunate. I don't think Makoa has ult. Nice. Good heal, Pip. <clears throat> nice. Both of our tanks went really aggressive and stayed alive through it. That's exactly what we needed there. That was perfect. Hopefully we can help out Makoa. Nice. He's botting blocking all my damage. Like a real tank should. Get that totem ruckus, top him off. He's good. Nice team. That was solid. That was a super good point fight. Ooh, ruckus. Live, my friend. Thank you. I love when people listen like that. Live, okay, I'll live. <clears throat> Nicole might need a totem soon. And keep an eye on him. Let's see where he's going. We're gonna put it right here. You can stay on the payload. Ghost lock that. Perfect. We, can, we need to kill that Ceres. That Ceres is a big problem, too. She's running Void Abides. We have to use this totem for ourselves. We don't want to die here. If we die, our push gets staggered off really hard. Nice job, team. This is looking a lot better now. I think Knessa's hitting more shots. Pip's doing really well. Oh, we baited those. Nice. Oh, Knessa still died. Darn. Ooh, hello. Oh, we need to try to get out of this corner. Oh, I thought I had my ghost walk in time. I think the Saris ended up killing me, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, she got that one out of the tech right at the end. I was hoping to get my ghost walk just in time because I didn't really have any cooldowns. My only chance was to sit in that corner and use my totem as a body block. McCole will be fine. He has the totem. We'll top Ruckus. Ooh. Oh, I had to reload. I don't know why I ghost walked there. I think I ghost walk because of old habits of old habits of ghost walking after I use my totem. You guys, says need healing one more time here. Knessa, relax. Oh no, totem went way too far. That bounced off like the corner. That's unfortunate. Ooh, took a snipe there. I'm gonna cross. Use my totem in two. Put it right here on the corner. Whole team can use this. Top off the Knessa. <clears throat> I gotta reload. Ruckus is taking a lot of heat. Ooh, Knessa, no. Yeah, this is gonna be a wipe here. This is gonna be the end of the push. I wanna make sure I live. I don't want to really feed them any extra credits. 
Top off, Ruckus gonna credits herself. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm gonna go into Kronos 3. Like, I really don't think my cot will help any at all, because I'm not I'm not really hitting the enemies. But Kronos, Kronos 3 is our best option. Uh, can't really get a Rejuve, no reason to get a Luminate or Bulldozer, so we're just gonna save our credits for next point and maybe get a Haven. I think Haven will be good here. Yeah, Haven will be... Yeah, Haven will be the best here. Yeah, just make this easy. Hopefully with the Chronos 3 we can get more totems out. Our healing has been really good so far. Our tanks did really good last point. Makoa doesn't have ult though, so that's the scary part. If Ruckus goes... Okay, nice, nice. We're all together this time. I don't want to stack for that fireball. Actually, I'm going to ult this. I want us to keep pushing. That ult right there was solely for the aggression, so we can continue aggression. I wanted us to get the speed and hold W, and it worked super well. You'd want nothing more from there, that to be honest. That's that that was a almost perfect executed Grok ult. Like maybe the only the only thing I could have done better is throw it sooner. Top up tanks here, man. Grok is like one of those like Pip, like I said yesterday with Pip video. It's one of those commentaries where you're really involved because you're using your auto attacks. You're a lot more focused than other supports. So sometimes it's really hard to give good commentary, to be honest. I'm just, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best to give my best commentary I can. Oh, let's top, my, top of Makoa. We need to deal with this Lex. Ooh, he's gonna take a lot of damage. He just needs to be careful for a second. Maybe use that totem and reset. I need to use the totem and reset. Oh, my screen is so shaky. Nice job. Top off all the tanks. Rock is super nice because of his uh, split healing, especially late game, because you can have so many totems out at once. I kind of respect that ult. I like the ult early. I, I really like that ult. It's an ult early, keeps us snowballed, keeps us able to push. Like it gives us the opportunity to just keep pushing this whole time. Now we're staggering out kills. Now they are on a 12 second respawn. We should be able to on the last phase in this push. We're going to be on the last fa last phase of this push when they all come up. Which is exactly what we want. I'm going to ult this too. Keep staggering ults like that. Kill Lex. Get here to help Ruckus. Ruckus should be fine. Fight that buddy. Oh no. I'm dead. Ooh. That was a really good counter Sarasol. I was hoping uh, I was hoping Ruckus would stay in their face there to be honest. I think I missed time my ult a little bit and I was a little bit too deep whenever I ended the ult. And make sure he can't get one shot sniped. Took damage. Oh he didn't. Pip healed him, okay. This is probably our last push. Oh, I am so dead. Oh, let's tank Kanessa, maybe she can fight it for us. Oh, wow, okay. Huh, did I walk into a flare? What was that? Oh yeah, that was some timing. Oh, whew. that was rough. No, rip my call. I tried to save him in time. We uh, we just kind of like walked into a flare there. It was kind of unfortunate because we had to cross no matter what, right? We, uh, we had to get over there to top our tanks because they were far up. <laughs> but he throws the flare as we peek. That was crazy. I don't, I'd be more understanding if it was like a strict shot or I stepped on the flare. That was honestly crazy. Now, this is going to be a long game. If we keep playing the point fights like we have been, this is going to be a really good game. Now with the higher Haven, we're going to have a lot of sustain. We're going to be able to stay in these fights longer. Well, that is a good, good, good thing. The longer we can stand these fights, the better. And not having to use our totem on ourselves has saved teammates multiple, multiple times right now. Where's the Strix? He's flaring. We're gonna ghost walk this. Get the totem up from Akoa. I know it's in the middle of the enemies, but he needs just enough healing to stay alive. Usually you want that totem behind a wall or something where they can reset to. 
but in the moment, he really needed that totem to stay alive. Or I thought he needed the totem to stay alive. Our team is playing this so much better now, to be honest. <clears throat> We're playing this so much more aggressive. And that's what you need to do here. Just get in their face and just deny them. Deny them space, deny them room. Get the Strix. Ooh, we need to keep Makoa alive here. Makoa just does not have ult because he used it. Nice. And Nando couldn't even touch. Let's walk that. Ooh, I'm gonna eat that. Oh, God. The amount of damage that I was done there. Let's see, Victor came around with a nade. That didn't hit me. <clears throat> really wasn't the Victor, to be honest. What was it? Oh, it was, it was really the Saris. The Saris does a lot of damage, especially when she ults. <clears throat> Just because she cleaves everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And that's a good snipe on Saris. We should be able to play off that. Oh, Lex is already flanking. Oh, we got him somewhat low. Our Ruckus is probably dead, though. Mm, he'll be okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm dead. At least, uh, at least they're using ults here. That's the biggest thing. We forced a few ults, and maybe we can come back into them with our ults. Ooh, Pip kind of got, like, destroyed there. R.I.P. These totems never want to place properly. We can eat multiple shops, shots from this Strix now. <clears throat> and the Lex can't really, like, one-shot us. So that's why uh, this Haven is super good. Nice. That Lex is a pretty free kill. He's overflanking. Oh, okay. I thought Makoa was going to fall back. I like that. Okay. We're using alts here. Nice. Um, maybe the McCall was unnecessary, but it ends up working. Oh, he's just holding W. I'm expecting, honestly, the McCall to fall back a little bit to the totems, but I guess not. It can stay point here. I want to push up. I want to top off the team. Get the totem up there as best we can. Hopefully the team sees it. Nice, they see it. Oh, Ruckus. If Ruckus dies here, there's almost no saving him. I can't really help Makoa either. We are in just bad spots, to be honest. Oh, yeah. One of the tanks needed to stay back on point, and one of the tanks needed to push up. Because they kind of just, like, left left it completely wide open for him to push our backline. And even though their backline is exposed with Victor and Strix, our backline is still exposed since we have a Pip Kinesa. And I'm pretty exposed because I'm Grok. All right, Makoa almost farmed alt again, so that's good. He'll have it, like, second part of the point fight. Apologies. Um, Apologies. We're going to look for... I'm trying to decide what card I won here. I think Cot's going to be the best. The damage we have. Just for the damage we are outputting on enemies. And a kill to heal. Since we're always getting assists. Yeah, this is going to work. Yeah, a huge chicken on this Nando since he has no CCR would be amazing. If, chick if a good chicken comes out here, we win the game. The Victor's there. He's going to spam across. There's the nade. Pop off peep. Nice. We're snowballing this perfectly. That was a perfect use of alts out of, I think, everybody, to be honest. And we're going to have the Makoa ult for the retake. And using the Grok ult to speed the team in on the Pip ult was amazing. But we only used three ults. We're going to have Kinesa Makoa ult here soon. Oh. Oh, jeez. We want to get out now. We know we have Totem in three. We're going to go this way. Get around the corner. Just hide. We lost both tanks. Oh, wow. We just need to die on point. Oh, I was hoping to trade Saris with me. That's okay. We had them a call. We were expecting to lose that. Just because they had more ults. The Lex pushed us into us and actually created a lot of space. Makoa needs to stop taking a lot of free damage. Hopefully he doesn't take that much damage here. Okay, this is fine. Makoa has to ult. Nice. 
Nice, we got two kills. Give that to Ruckus as he comes in. Let's get him in the fight quicker. And we'll top off Makoa. Hopefully he saved Kanessa. Yep. Nice. GG's game. GG's team. That was a really good game, to be honest. That was a really tough game, too. We had a lot of ups and downs that game. Um, ooh, how did I get play of the game? Look at that. Look at the Gork play of the game. Woo! Ooh, let's see this. Oh, there's this alt here. Oh, oh, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I love Gork alt. Oh, beautiful. What I did there, by the way, is I, instead of alting straight, if I would have just alted and went into the team, I would have like had to like shake my mouse and twist my mouse to try to get back and actually heal the team. But what I did is alt first against the wall to give my team the speed buff and to get them ramped up. And then I went off the ledge to help Makoa and then came back around. So that was really, really like kind of perfect. It was really the best play we could have made with that ult. And that's a really good strat to use. That Saris had really good healing too. For Void Abides, she did really well. Void Abides is really good. Uh, that build's a bit weird. You don't need that. But it's still, she played really well. But besides that, I think that's it for that this game. I uh, hope you enjoyed this Grok Spirits Domain commentary. It was a long one. It was a tough one. It was, we went down 3-1, but we came back. So, hope everyone enjoyed. Hope you enjoy your day, night, evening, morning, dawn, dusk, whatever it is where you live. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.